Pioneer 4 was launched on March 3, 1959 at 5.10 a.m. UTC from Launch Complex 5 at Cape Canaveral. The 6.1 kg spacecraft was manufactured by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and even with its low mass was at the limit of the translunar payload capacity of the Juno 2 rocket that launched it. Coming after the Soviet Union launched Luna 1, scoring the first spacecraft to enter the moon's sphere of influence and the first to escape into interplanetary space, Pioneer 4 became an effort to demonstrate that the United States could match Soviet capabilities. However, Luna 1 was a massive 361 kilogram craft, more than 50 times the mass of Pioneer 4, and it had been launched on a rocket with around 5 times the liftoff weight of Juno 2, which was a relatively small 55 ton rocket. Pioneer 4 carried a Geiger-Muller tube to assess the radiation environment just like practically all predecessor probes, and also had photocells that would be activated by the light of the moon if the probe passed by the moon within 30,000 kilometers, and take a photo. In the end, Pioneer 4 successfully entered the lunar sphere of influence, but just barely at an altitude of 59,000 kilometers, and therefore the probe did not take the planned photo. It still, however, sent back the vital radiation data, its tiny 0.5 kilogram, 0.1 watt transmitter was capable of sending signals at a range of 1 million kilometers. Pioneer 4 ended in an orbit around the Sun with a perihelion of 0.98 astronomical units and an aphelion of 1.13 astronomical units. Despite the partial nature of its success, it would turn out to be the most successful American lunar probe until Ranger 7 in 1964. On that note, thank you for watching this mission profile of Pioneer 4.